Welcome back to another Minecraft episode. I know that I missed last week, but it was for something important. A certain someone had a certain special birthday and we were out of town. So that was really fun. But as I <laughs> saw from, I got a couple messages saying, where's the next episode? And honestly, couldn't have made me happier. That was just, that was just awesome. Absolutely awesome. So we're back at it again. We're trying to make a new episode here and get everything going. Uh, another thing I noticed from the comments is one. <sighs> yeah, I, I, I mishandled the cat situation real bad. Really, really bad. I got super excited about the cat and forgot everything I knew about Minecraft because he's gone. He despawned. He doesn't live here anymore. He's dead. Whatever you want to call it. I ruined it. I ruined it. There's going to be no Babu. That was going to be his name. Reference from Archer, if anybody knows that. Yeah, so super bummed about that. I guess we'll just have to find another and find a way to safely keep him in the house. Thank you for the comments, though. Even though as I read them, I'm just thinking in my head, oh, yeah, no, he's uh, he's gone. He's already gone. So I'm I'm sorry about that. And in memory of this cat that I could never name, we're going to send you off with a Viking funeral. And your riches, because, you know, you were mine, so you, you get a little something. You get a little, you get a little riches out of it to take with you. So I don't have a bow that I can shoot this with, so I'm just going to, uh, yeah, yeah. And a little moment of silence. Wow, this is going faster than I thought it would. Okay. Viking funeral for a little brave little jungle cat. Okay. That didn't do fully what I wanted it to, but the message is clear. He will be missed. All right, Viking funeral done. We got to get back to digging. I need to repair. I've been doing some digging, and this is just... Go oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what is he scared me so bad? Oh, my God. Is he... He's just coming... He... How, did he watch the funeral? Has he been here the... He's just using my bed. He's just using my bed. That's all. That's all. Get no. Get out of here. That's my experience. I need that. I no. Stop it. Stop it. I need that. Do you know how hard it is to repair? I have been doing so much digging. Go. Go away. Go away. Rupert. Go away. Stop it. No. Bad Rupert. This is my experience for my pickaxe. Just like that, he's gone. He just came, slept, and left. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, time to show you the digging. Because there has been just so much digging. So much. Look at this. All of this was hand dug before I changed methods. I went back. I went back to TNT. And I just sat down and I grinded out this hole. I, I didn't make any machines for it. This was just set the TNT, light it, drop it, and go all the way to one. We still have so much to go. But this is this is the progress. And, of course, right now it's a complete death trap in there. Not to mention all the water that's under there. There's some caves and stuff. Like, we got all the way down here and just leads to caves. All sorts of caves. We don't need this. And it keeps going over here a little bit, goes down that way some. I've had to fill in and redig out because of water. This is just a lot more than I expected, but I am just grinding it out because I want to get it done so I can start building the interior because that's 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 what this is all about. This, this is a mega build. 
And of course, I also have to fill this in with Blackstone. So that's also going to be fun, but we might, we might not for a while because I'd rather just get a lot of this done. Um, the other thing was apparently the tree's been growing. I came back, I, I saw it earlier in the episode, but I totally forgot to address it till now. Where it's, it's sprouting leaves. Look, it's coming in. It's got some branches growing. Lit it up so that, you know, it's not another death trap like the mega hole. But it, uh, it's an interesting tree that I, I'm, I'm going to continue to watch it and see how it grows. Because it, it, it could turn out pretty. Some trees are ugly. But, uh, not that one. I like that tree. It's a good tree. <gasps> oh my god! It's another... It's another another ocelot! I, I, I'm, I'm going inside. I don't want to scare it. Because if I run away from it, it won't... It'll, it'll be here. It'll be here. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I need to look how to make him love me. Hang on. Bear with me. Okay, okay. Ocelots are wild creatures. But if I get it to love me and I don't trap it, it should stay. So we need a 20 fish. Come here, fish. You're going to a better cause. I don't need you right now. These are squirrely little buggers. Okay, that should be enough fish. Let's see if he's still hanging around. Where'd you go? Did you go back up to the jungle? Kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Did you run away? Did I lose you forever? All right, well, he is nowhere to be found. But I'm going to leave the fish in this chest so that when we when he does come back and I do see him because I'm pretty sure he will come back then we should be able to make him an ally and not trap him and kill him like yeah so we'll uh we'll get back to this trident because I'm gonna go to a guardian uh temple I want to go to a guardian temple and get some sponges because that that will help out immensely with clearing out all the water that i'm encountering in there so let's enchant this bad boy aha we found one finally oh my god they hurt Okay, that wasn't too bad. A little tense, but we got the sponges. They should help out a lot. We're back from our little sponge hunt. We got what we needed. I realized I didn't use the trident once because I didn't put loyalty on it, and my library doesn't have loyalty. It literally has everything else but, so that, that's, that's annoying. Um, so <laughs> let's jump into a little time lapse of what it's like to be blowing up this mountain and just the, the magnitude of how fast I'm doing it to the size of the mountain is just, it's just so sad, but let's get right into it. This is what 36 seconds at 6,400% speed looks like when you're using TNT manually. Uh, there's water to clean up. I have to just kind of shimmy along the base of it just to even it out because I want to try to level it at around zero to one. Um, it's just so much work and it's so slow and I really don't know if building a flying machine is worth it. If anybody knows a better way to clear this out faster and more efficiently, please let me know because this is just going to... 
it's just going to take forever and ever and ever. And that's essentially what we're trying to do. We're encountering cave systems that I would have had to deal with before. We're collecting all the ores that we can find so that we can do decorative caves down here at the bottom. It, yeah, <laughs> it, this is going to take a while. So what I thought I'd do is just a quick tour of my thought process is that I guess somewhere starting around this level right here is where the structure inside is going to start. And it's going to have these big thick chains going out through here. They're going to blast through the other side of the mountain up top. You're going to see like the old rusted iron hooks that are holding it together. And it's going to be a suspended structure of what I always thought Tron Chime was. Uh, adding a little bit of fun Minecraft flair to it. The main thing is, I, the big things I want to keep is the uh, the star rose, which is, if anybody hasn't read the books, it's this giant glass red rose at the bottom of the structure of the dragon hold. And what that does is that has the slide going all the way spinning down to the bottom and at the bottom i'm still very undecided i kind of want to go with the mountain theme with the crying obsidian theme and just have pathways going into different farms and structures and bejeweled hallways and stuff and that's that's essentially what why i'm digging so furiously actually this is more than i thought we're we're getting some good progress here so maybe this will go a little faster than I thought. The only downside is I'm trading off repairing my pickaxe every 15, 20 minutes to having to go collect shulker boxes full of sand. I, I still don't know what the better trade-off is. I kind of hate repairing my pickaxe, so I might just keep this route. It's a little easier to look at when I'm doing it, a little more mindless than just farming and getting to the walls and then you have to make sure that there's nothing that mobs can stand on. I've been very meticulous about that. There's a couple problem spots, but I lit them up. One's up there. I have to go fill it. And then, yeah, just all sorts of other stuff like, oh boy, we have a barker. <laughs> Hang on. Now that the Chihuahua has appeared to be tamed, uh, apparently there was a thunderstorm because more of this got burned. So I guess it really is a proper funeral now. Um, if, if you were curious as to what the title was, well, I'm going to go literally against what the title is because this was my friend Kai's idea to give the ocelot a Viking funeral. So even though it's no credit for Kai, I, I, you, yeah, credit goes to Kai. Thank you, Kai. I, I, I appreciate the idea. It was, it was a good one and it, it uh it did the memory of the ocelot well even though we still haven't seen any of his buddies around but i'm sure they'll come back around and that being said we are out of time for this week's episode i'm hoping to get a lot more content and extend these a little further in time but as of right now i'm just solely focused on digging it's just taking up all the time so once that's done we're gonna get into a lot more fun stuff especially build wise maybe i'll go build a guardian farm to get sea lanterns maybe that'll be a good light source but that's still decided if you like the episode go ahead and drop a like leave a comment all the comments are really appreciative especially with how i could have almost killed a second ocelot and not known why um, make sure to leave a subscribe if you haven't and we'll catch you in the next episode bye